All right, guys. Currently, we are in Epic Games Marketplace, and I have just launched uh, Unreal Engine browser. So let's start with a very basic level of project settings. So I'm going to this game. You can open the blank project. Also, if you want, you can go to the film and video live events, and you can launch the blank project as well. So for this, I'm going to this game and just opening the blank one. Make sure the target platform should be desktop, and the quality presets should be maximum. Now let's uh, rename this as a, like tutorial, and then just press create. Now, if you launch Unreal Engine for the first time, this might get some time to load because they have a lot more newly updated things in the newer version 5.6. So stay calm and it will launch soon. So Unreal Engine is opened and now you need to turn on few plugins which is really important for the video. So go to edit and go to plugins and you need to type one option called water. And once you have this three, just simply check this three on. Make sure this advanced option should turn on. And make sure, as you can see, this is in experimental version. So it might get crashed when you use this. So make sure every time once you do, you just uh, save your project file. Now I'm just to turn on few more plugins, which is called Movie Render Queue. So make sure you have to turn on this movie render queue option otherwise you can't render it in a high resolution next you can type ocean and make sure this should check on as well all right after that just close it and i just need to turn few settings in the project settings as well so go to this project settings and make sure you have to type ray trace and then t and once you find these options simply check all on if you don't enable this, you can't experience the ray tracing option in your system, but make sure you have to use the RTX graphic card to use this ray tracing option and all. So once you're happy with your settings and all, you just need to restart your Unreal Engine. So just press restart now. Once you restart, you can find this uh, error option message log. Just drag here and you can find this one. So just simply press this add entry to the default engine. Just simply click here and you are good to go. And you can restart your Unreal Engine once to get activated, but it might okay because otherwise Unreal Engine will ask for the restart. All right, now we are going to create a new level. So first of all, go to new level and press empty level, create. So as you can see, we don't have anything in the contained browser, no starter pack and nothing. So we are going to do this completely right from the scratch. So go to window and you can find this called environment light and mixer. So I'm just creating a very basic level of light settings. So just press create skylight, directional light, atmosphere, volumetric cloud and height fog. Going down, you can find this volumetric fog option. Simply check this on. Now simply select all this and click this uh, folder button to organize all this together. So just simply name it to light and just off this folder now simply close this so we have our default level done successfully so let's save the project so save all and just name it to tutorial now you're going to create a landscape so go to selection level and go to landscape now if you don't have any height map don't worry you can simply use the default landscape as well but if you have you can definitely import your height map right from here but i'm going to do this a very basic level to for all the beginners so just change it to one by one to two by two to make it increase but in this case i'm just making it to one by one selection and just simply press create so once you create, you have something like this large kind of an environment and the landscape. So let's do some sculpting part as well, because for this, we need some riverbed as well. So holding shift, you can simply sculpt it so that this area is getting, you know, downwards. Now to the smooth, you can simply click the smooth option and you can smooth this out. And uh, if you just simply click the sculpt, let's sculpt a little bit on the side areas as well. Now, once you're happy with the sculpting, simply go to this selection tab. Now we are going to apply the landscape material, but for the material, we don't have anything in here. So we are going to use the Quixel bridge. Also, you can use the fab. I have already added all the assets in my Quixel bridge. So I'm going to use this Quixel bridge option right from here. So simply click this. Now the process is exactly same for the fab and the Quixel bridge. If you don't know how to use, I have already created a dedicated video on this. Please go and check this out that how you can use fab and Quixel bridge all together. Now I have added few assets in my Quixel bridge library. So let's add this uh, ground, dirt, sand for the texture for the ground so i'm just checking it to high quality and i just press add so that it will automatically come in your unreal engine just make minimize this now simply select the landscape going down you can find this called a landscape material just drag and drop this to here so it will apply now if you notice this texture is very very highly tiled just double click here and you can type here tiling effects just simply click here and just change it to 0.1 by 0.1 
Now, if you notice the texture looks perfect, make sure save it and close. Now, if you don't want this grid lines, simply click here and turn off your grid right from here. Okay, cool. So we have successfully created our landscape. Now we have to add the river which is the most important part of the video. By the way, if you are liking our videos, make sure you have to subscribe to our channel, World of VFX. And for more updates, you can definitely follow us on our social media handles. All links are down below. All right, now simply click here and you can find this uh, called water. Just simply type and you can find this option called water body river. Just simply click and drag and drop this to into your landscape. Now you can find this two option called water and the layer. Just simply press complete and it will automatically apply in your scene. Now if you notice the river is added in your scene but the direction is a little bit different. So let's change the direction on th this path. Okay. So first of all to change the direction just simply double click on this and you can really move this as per your convenience. So I'm just changing the directions to for this and let's move this by the way if you want the world axis simply click here so it will work on the exactly same axis if you want now just move this slightly here and click here as well now just double click rotate this so that that portion direction also says sorry for the river directions should like this cool so we have done successfully our river and the camera angle should be somewhere like this so that the end area will hide. So this is a trick that you can use to hide your end area. So no need to add any assets behind to hide and all. So now let's walk on the river also on the terrain part as well because as you can see it's very very down. So simply click this river body. Now, if you want to adjust any specific part of the uh, spline, simply click the spline. And if you add anything, if you change anything, it will only affect on this area. And by the way, if you want to increase it, like if you want to increase more, just holding alt and just drag. And if you notice suddenly the river is increased. It's as simple as that. Now, if you want to apply everything all together, simply click this option so that now everything is selected. Now going down, you can change a lot more things. Yes, trust me, you can change a lot more things. So first of all, let's work on the water river body. So going down, you can find this called a water option. Just simply turn this on. Now, if you notice this called depth. So this is a by default depth is 150. So if you change it to 250, you can suddenly see the water depth is increased. Now, this is a river width, which is this one. If you want more width, you can simply increase it to 3048. And if you suddenly see the river get increased. But for this case, I'm just change it to 2500. This is more than enough. Now this is called velocity. No need to change it, but I'm just showing you what exactly it will do. Just change it to 250. So the speed is getting a little bit increased. Now don't need to change any audio intensity. It will actually create a sound once you render it out. So if you find out the sound looks perfect, otherwise you just can't change it can find this option called terrain just simply going down you can find this called curve settings so this will exactly adjust this areas as well so just let me show you what exactly it will do so just increase the offset to 150 if you notice the height width getting changed but this area is a little bit chunky so just make it to default so that it will make some smooth area now if you notice this area is very very sharp to make it a little smoother you can simply increase it to 1000 and suddenly you can see this area is getting really really smooth but if you want to increase the height of the water body simply select the water body and just push it up and automatically it will adjust with your actual ground so first of all let's add the camera angle and then we'll work further because we don't want to work on unnecessary area so for this this will be our basic camera angle all right and now going here simply click this perspective and click here and create a cine camera actor so this will be our camera angle and just look at this it's already started looking really good but yes we are going to do something else in this video so stay tuned so first of all simply select the camera and pin it here and now we are going to change the focal distance to aperture to 1.2 so it's changing it to 1.2 and on the current focal length let's change it to 45 so that it will create a zoom lens and let's jump into the cine camera actor and from crop change it to 2.39 axis ratio and now if you notice this will create some very good river body like a zoom effect and all like a long lens okay now just change the focus distance to somewhere here all right so now let's work on the water so first of all for this we are going to use a new update called shallow water so simply type again water 
and you can find this option called shallow water river just drag and drop this into your scene and once you find out here shallow water river you just need to connect this to your river body so going down you can find the option called water source water body and shrink river water body simply click here and you just need to select this water body river and automatically it will apply same on this area as well and suddenly you can see the water getting changed but there is no movement right for the first time what you need to do go up and press reset and suddenly you can see the water started simulating wow just look at this guys this suddenly changed everything so we have successfully created the water so we will work later many things in the water but before that let's focus on the scene the build up scene so for this we are going to this foliages section and we just need to add some foliages in our scene so i imported everything in my unreal engine scene so just simply click mega scan static mesh so these are all the static meshes which i am going to use right now so first of all for the foliages i can use these many things but for the ground assets i am going to use this so let's start one by one just drag and drop first of all here go to selection tab simply select this press f to fit to screen so now just rotate this and adjust with your crown so i have added three assets here and now let add more assets on the ground so this is very very small just increase the shape and this will cover the foreground area and if you notice the water is not colliding with this but trust me i'll make sure the water will collide with this now rest of the part i'm going to use the foliages section so just simply select the foliages and this was the older version just simply delete it now select one two three drag and drop simply select all these three now i'm just paint this here so what's once you click here you can suddenly see the stones are appearing here but there is a catch once you click on the water body it will only simulating over the water it will not simulating under the water so how you can do that let me show you so first of all simply turn this static mesh off and now once you click if you notice it's already applying under the water now the stone size are very less so just change it to 1 by 3 so few stones will getting bigger and few will be very less size So I'm not painting unnecessary areas. I'm just painting only this much area, which will affect on your scene. Now going up, you can find this called paint density. Just change it to point one. And now once you paint, you can find out very less amount of stones will appear. So just simply paint it here. Now I just want to add some very big chunk so that the water can collide with that. So then I'm change the scale to ten by fifty and just click here. And if you notice, this will create a long chunk here. So just just change it to randomly and let's add something like this so that's will create some long chunks and it will exactly good for the river body so just add it few here as well and uh, so all right we have just created here successfully now let's uh, turn this on off and now let's add the grasses so simply select all this static meshes and just drag and drop here now i'm just simply select all this for the grass and now let's uh, draw some grasses in your scene and make sure it will only apply the visible camera angle so let's start here and now let's paint very randomly so that it will cover the entire part now just change the height to 1 by 3 or 1 by 2 just change it to 1 by 3 as of now and just press some grasses so all right we have created the scene right now and now let's work on the lighting part because as you can see this looks very very flat but there is no simulation is going on so let's work for the simulation part so let me show you how you can simulate something in your water so go to the selection tab once back now i'm just turn this off so that you can see it everything clearly So this is the water and this is our instance foliages which is this and these are the all our assets which i have added on the ground separately so first of all select any asset right from here just simply select it and simply type tag and you can find this option called tag simply turn this on and let's type c o l l i d e r or you can use any name just simply press copy it and now you can add this in your water body so simply click this shallow river water and you can find on the collision tab you can find option called bottom contour actors and bottom contour tags simply click this and now change the tag to control v collider and suddenly the water get reset and if you notice it start adding with this now if you move it you can't find anything right but once you simply select it going down and just simply change the contour actor this rock which i have selected and suddenly the water get reset and now see it start colliding with the 
rock so if you just move it you can see the water ripple effect with the foams and all so this looks so much real on your scene so once you reset the water it will exactly collide with this now now you need to do the same collider tags for all the instance objects now if i'll click this instance called for ages you can also type this called tag and you can find the same contour actor just simply press collider and then every time once you do this collider you just need to click the shallow rid of water and you just make sure reset it so that it will every time get reset and collide with the water now as you can see i just have changed one setting right from here which is called contour actor so i just change it to only this stone so you just need to do every stones or every instance objects for example just press one more and click here and this is our instance foliage actor simply select it now if you notice all the instances are getting collide with the water so let me show you if i'll click the simple water body and if i'll just move it it will automatically apply with your ground with the for ripple effect and also the foams so this looks really cool for this so i'm just pressing control z here and it get back to the original view now let's jump into the camera view and let's work for the final result so the lighting looks really fake so just change the lighting to some different direction so let's work on this golden light setup now i'm going to use post process volume to make it more cinematic so simply go to this visual effects and click this post process volume and first of all I need to type infinite bounds so it to apply on the entire part now just turn on the bloom and going down i can found this option called exposure so just turn this to on make sure turn on this to one by one so that you can lock your exposure all right this lighting looks really cool the lights are applying with the ground and now let's click this post process uh, volume and going down i just do some very basic level of color grading and which you can find here as well color grading tab so this is global this is shadow so i'm just working on the mid tone so just simply turn on the saturations and increase the saturation on the mid tone so that it will get some highlights over here and also going up to the global and just check the contrast on increase the contrast so that it will look some you know contrasty and all and uh, that's it just simply type vignette effect and just turn this to on vignette intensity should turn on so that it will create some black areas as well also you can type grain and film grain so that it will create some grainy tone in your scene so just increase the grains because grain is very very important once you do some cinematic stops and let's change it to a little higher value or less like 0.4 and that's cool so yes guys that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed the scene i have rendered one more scene over here which you can see right now and if yes then make sure you have to subscribe to our channel and the project file link is in description box below go and download it